and welcome back YouTube. Thank you for tuning in and today I would like to do a review of Vendetta, Curse of Raven's Cry. Now on release in January last year, the game was called Raven's Cry, which I think is a quite a good name for a pirate game, and the game was destroyed by the critics for having weak gameplay, bugs, and glitches, and whatnot. At some point, publisher Topware Interactive decided to pull it off Steam, do some more work on it, and put it back on under a different name, Vendetta, Curse of Raven's Cry. And again, the critics panned the game, and some even called it one of the worst games of 2015. Now, is that really the case? And so, how does this game fair because well you know pirates seafaring and you know the game fares better than I expected the game makes a really bad first impression though in the first hour and it does not properly introduce or explain itself and the main mechanics which is unfortunate and I think that a lot of people just quit playing it because of that but if you stick with the game in fact there's a lot to like about it First of all, I thought that the story was quite interesting. It's about this pirate, Chris Raven, who seeks revenge for the death of his parents by some other notorious pirate. And the story is told through these comic book style cutscenes that I found quite nice, actually. Now, the gameplay. Now the game uses this sort of the blueprint of Sid Meier's Pirates, where you start out with a small ship and then begin trading commodities like sugar and tobacco and silk between different ports in the Caribbean. Now the trading system I think is quite dynamic, trade? where prices go up and down depending on supply and demand, and there's a lot of money to be made there. And the different cities and ports and islands and locations you'll visit during your travels, they look quite distinct. I mean, it's not triple I graphics, but the streets are crowded with people walking, talking, working. You'll see beggars on the streets, people going about their business and like going to the toilet here. I think that's what they're lined up to do here. Now, character models and animations are really basic. That is true, when I have the power but I got used to that. The and the voice acting characters. is not brilliant, but definitely Surely. not that bad. So if I'm not under arrest, what am I doing here? I am trying to gauge if you are suitable for service to the Crown. Service? I already have things to do. I don't need a job with your pathetic little outfit here. Now, traveling between these places takes place on a map and frequently your voyage is interrupted by random ship battles. Now the ship combat in this game is just, it's just amazing. Using the mouse wheel to higher and lower your cannons, you steer into position, click the left or mouse buttons to uh, fire the cannons to either side of the ship. Now you can use different am ammunitions to destroy the sails first so that the ship will move slower and then you can just sort of destroy the hull, of course, to, to sink the ship. Or you can use grape shots, I think they're called, to decimate the crew. And you can board the ship in a turn-based fashion, which is really nice, I think. Each town you will visit has a number of NPCs that will give you quite a surprising variety of side quests. There are some icons on the map, but sometimes you just have to find them. It might be that a crew member has deserted, or somebody needs a favor, or you can do some work for the local governor. People might hire you to destroy other pirates or ships. In doing so, you get XP and money that you can spend on upgrades for yourself, your character abilities. For instance, Raven has this well, Raven, this bird that he can use to uh, to steal stuff from people, which is really nice. You can also use the money to upgrade your current ship with more car uh, 
with more cannons and better sails, more crew and stronger hull. And most missions involve sword fighting, and that is, yes, that is the weakest part of the game. And this is probably why a lot of people hate this game, because of the combat on foot. And it's really like hitting thin air. There's no strategy, there's no skill involved, it's just really bad. But the question is, do you play a pirate game for just the sword fighting? Not to me. For me, it's the whole pirate experience. Does this game allow me to be a pirate? And I've been asking myself, why does this game get so much hate? Is it that we are so blinded by AAA Black Flag graphics? You know, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That we just don't accept anything else anymore. That we don't accept any developer with less money and, and manpower than Ubisoft to try their hand on a pirate game. While in truth, I think, Vendetta is a better game than Black Flag was because of the fact that Vendetta actually has this sense of progression that's so lacking in Black Flag. As I said, you start, start out with a schooner, a small ship, and you have enough money you can buy a frigate, and then a galleon, and then a war galleon. Like, like here, when I actually bought that with a huge amount of cannons. So I can just blow all the other ships out of the water. In Black Flag I never had the idea of actually being a pirate, living the life of a pirate. Yes, you got a ship, and you, can, you could do upgrades on that. But the rest of the game was just basically icon hunting. I mean, the map was just cluttered with stuff. It just never allowed you to explore the locations yourself. Now, Vendetta, I, I spent a lot of hours on this game, and I had so much fun with it. Yes, it lacks a significant amount of polish, but there's nothing game-breaking. I, I, I did not experience any desktop crashes whatsoever. It is then so unfortunate that this game is not available on Steam anymore. They pulled it off, I think Topware Interactive, the publisher, they pulled it off Steam. They didn't want to sell it through Steam. I don't know why exactly, but... You know, I think it is time this game got some recognition. There are only a, a bunch of pirate games, and actually, I enjoyed this one a hell lot. Now, you can still get it on the publisher's website, so I'll post a link in the description below if you want to uh, buy it. It's quite expensive, by the way. You still pay 40 or $50 for it. But still, if you can get it for cheap, it is a good game. I enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you will too. Thanks for watching. Leave comments, subscribe if you want, and uh, see you in the next video. Damn it!